Hi, I'm Gwen and welcome back to the Gwen Bassey. I want to talk about this, Korg SQ64. Now, a few months ago I made a video explaining that my Korg SQ64 was out of tune and I wasn't very satisfied with it. In the comments, there was a few bits of feedback that I want to address. So firstly, a lot of people were like, well, why don't you just get in touch with Korg? I did get in touch with Korg. I said so in, in that video, actually. I sent them an email and I also lodged a support ticket with them. And even now, a few months on, no one from Korg has been in touch about my problem, which is like actually really disappointing. But there was some interesting positive comments as well. So a few viewers measured their own Korg SQ64 and I'm really grateful to them. From that, I was able to see that I just had a rogue unit one where the third channel was out of tune. Everybody else's Korg SQ64 was, was in tune. So I knew that I could probably just get a substitute SQ64 and I would be good. Now Korg hadn't responded, so I got in touch with the vendor Gear for Music and they were really good. They were super happy to, to take the unit back and they didn't ask too many questions about it either. I'm very happy with them. So I had to wait for stocks to come for a new Korg SQ64, which arrived late last week. I think it took two months or something for a new one to be in stock. I expected that, the unit's in demand. I tested it immediately, obviously, and uh, I'm happy to report that this particular SQ64 is completely in tune. In fact, not only is the scaling in tune, but the offset is in tune as well. When all channels are set to zero volt offset, the output is zero volt offset, which makes me think that maybe they've kind of upped the quality control in their factory. I would say that I'm very happy at the moment with the unit. I hope Korg will fix some of the software bugs. It's taken them a while, but I have a unit that I can use now, so that's great. I hope you found this update interesting and useful. I would tentatively recommend the SQ64 if um, you're interested in getting a hardware sequencer. I think it's pretty good. This particular one I have has very solid hardware. The previous one had issues. But as far as I know now, uh, as far as I'm concerned, all I need now is a few firmware bugs fixing and I'm sure Korg will do that. Thanks for watching, take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.